Now we all treasure those special memories with our grandparents, but sometimes the importance of that relationship can be overlooked. Joining me in Anmam Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group today to talk about the role of grandparents in the modern family, welcome back parenting advisors Joyce Sluters and Dorothy Wake. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Uh, let's start with you first, Dorothy. What role in a family should grandparents play? Grandparents play an important role, and what we forget is that they are actually being parents to their parents, and they're also being parents to their children and to their grandchildren. So it's important that they pay, sort of have a role of being very supportive. Um, it can be quite diverse in today's society because today a lot of the grandparents are actually parenting the children. Mm. And it also depends whether the grandparents are the, grand, the parent of the mother or the parent of the father because the grandparents' role is normally stronger if they're parent to the mother versus the dad. It's just sort of that's what happens in society. Then the other issue we've got is that a lot of grandparents want to play a role but due to the diverse sort of society now where there's a lot of children's, you know, um, organisations being involved with the mm. children, they don't actually get to see their grandparents. Mm. Well, my children got to see their grandparents for two weeks when I flitted off overseas oh, with my yeah. mother and she had the best oh. time and they had the best time and it was a wonderful bonding experience and I appreciated it too. Mm. Um, Joy, what about grandparenting from afar? How can you remain important and relevant in your grandchild's life? Yeah, you need to get a little bit creative here when you're parenting from, grandparenting from afar. Um, and with the use of technology now, of course, it's so mm. much easier than back in the day. <laughs> um, so we have the Skype, we have FaceTime, and, and it's so much easier for children to connect with their grandparents. You know, they're coming home at the end of the day and say, how about Skyping Grandma and show her the Principal's Award? Or, or how about FaceTime and Granddad? Because you're having a bit of a problem with that science project. He may have some really good ideas. So, you know, that's really helpful with the connection. And also, I heard of something quite recently where, um, you know, grandparents bought uh, two books the same and sent one to the grandchildren and they retained one. And so they would read a copy of the book while the grandchildren were reading a copy as well Aww. over Skype. And then, of course, you know, you could record or, or have an e-book, for example, as we have one Conveniently here. right here. Yeah. <laughs> and let's not forget writing and sending cards. Yes. A little bit of a lost art, but everyone loves getting something in the post. Although very difficult to read people's handwriting these yes. days, for sure, that's for sure. <laughs> I look at my children's handwriting and, and mine, that's pretty appalling. Yes. Uh, gone are the days of just sending a card with a bit of money over it and that being it. Dorothy, is it okay for grandparents, do you think, to have different rules in their house for the kids than they do in the parents' house? Absolutely, but yes and no. Um, what stays at Nana's house or grandparents' house you know, what happens there stays there. So what I find is interesting is in today's society, the big thing about being at a grandparent's home is the diet. Because a lot of parents are a lot better sort of a nutritional wise, they're a lot happier, they're not filling their kids with junk. And of course they go to the grandparent's house and <laughs> all it comes. And the other factor is, is a little is okay. So respect what your children, respect how they want to parent. But of course, we all parent differently, even in the same house. Mm. So it's going to be different things in the grandparents' house, especially with technology, where they sit for dinner, respecting property, because mm. it is the grandparents' house. And you know, sometimes when they have that first sleepover or they go away, you know, you've gone away for two weeks, it's really important that the kids feel really happy. So yes, it is okay for the grandparents to lie down with them while they go to sleep. Mm. Make them safe, make them feel comfortable, because when they go home, that you don't have to do it. But isn't it better to have a happy child Absolutely. than the grandparents? Absolutely, and I must say that two, two weeks is the longest I've ever left my children, mm. but very, mm. very happy with my mother's, um, my mother's relationship with them. Um, Joy, how does relationship change from parenting to grandparenting? It is quite different, <coughs> isn't it? It is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> It's the all care, no responsibility chapter of your life as a grandparent. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it's your opportunity, I heard you, Dorothy, to do the little bit of a treat. Um, in our family, with, with both families who have children, they're the, the milk and the water diet. But at Nana and Opa's house, they have juice, bearing in mind it's one part juice, 20 parts water, but it's still juice and it's something pretty cool. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's the, the specialness of grandparents. How much advice should you give your kids about parenting because that must be a tricky situation too when you watch your children parenting their children. Yeah, the important thing here I think Mel is to wait until you're asked. Oh that'd be tough. Yeah, well, <laughs> sometimes that with your adult children establishing a warm, respectful, um, supportive, encouraging relationship. Respectful is the key word here. Where your children will actually, or your adult children who are parenting children, 
will feel comfortable to ask you that question and, and refrain from leaping in with your advice and especially leave behind the, well, it was so much harder for me in my day kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And move in with the empathy and notice, you know, oh, God, golly love, it's, this is a really hard phase yeah. in your life right now with your, your two preschoolers or I can see and feel that you're from you that you're you're feeling really right. tired. What what do you need? From and I know me? also when you're when you're parenting yourself. I mean, I look at how I parented my first child compared to my yeah. third one. What a difference! Absolutely. I was a bit ridiculous with my first <laughs> yes. one. Um, great advice as always, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Coffee Group is brought to you by Anmum Pedia Pro Three, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this cool ebook from Anmum that allows you to record Sweet your dreams. voice. Special bedtime story from That's me, me ready to mark. I should read him a new one, I think, actually. <laughs> and congratulations to Julia Ryle, who is this week's winner. And thank you for your great suggestions on our Facebook page as well.